in Chitwan province. After shutting down more than 7,000 bus operations and causing major delays for commuters during morning rush hour, unionized bus drivers in Seoul returned to work on Thursday afternoon. For the first time in 12 years, they went on a general strike demanding a wage hike. But around 11 hours after they begun, the Seoul Bus Labor Union reached a deal on a 4.48% wage hike, also a $482 holiday bonus. The union represents more than 9 out of 10 of the capital's bus drivers, and during the hours-long strike, many commuters could not get to work on time or had to rely on the subway, which the city had increased in number and operation hours. A heated topic of discussion in Korea is whether an adult who has small portions should be able to order from the kids' menu at a restaurant. In an anonymous online post uploaded a few days back, one netizen shared how they saw a female customer ask a pork cutlet restaurant owner if it was okay for her to order from the children's menu. The woman customer allegedly explained that she had very small portions and she does not want to let any food go to waste, but the restaurant owner refused, saying that children's menus are only for customers who bring their child. After minutes of explaining both their sides, the female customer eventually left the restaurant without ordering anything. Pocket money so that they can really make their ends meet. And there are in fact several different reasons. And let's take a look at the screen to find out the different reasons why South Korean university students engage in these part-time jobs. Now, uh, if you see, look at the screen, my, many college students, the primary reason for doing part-time jobs is to earn enough money to cover their living expenses, and to have some pocket money, as I said. And the second biggest reason is to save up for uh, studying abroad or even traveling. And also the third reason is to just make sure that they maintain a routine life during their semesters because often after classes, you have a lot of idle time and they just want to make sure that they make the most out of those time and make sure that they live a more uh, fruitful life during their semesters. Exactly. And actually, you mentioned really great points there, and I do think it is a burden, especially because if you remember, university is the most prime time for you to be meeting new people, going out, exploring yourself. And Colo, you've actually met some college students yourself to hear what it's like these days and how much they're spending on lunch. So why don't we walk through your coverage first before we continue discussions? Yes, absolutely. So as just mentioned, I did get a chance to meet several university students, both on campus and on the streets to learn more about how these university students are saving up, especially on food expenses. So, why don't we take a look at my coverage?